We're interested in determining if there's a difference in the travel distances for golf balls that were made by some different manufacturers. And what we have are data for four manufacturers. We want to use this data to find the sums of squares that we would need to perform an ANOVA. So what we're going to start by doing is adding up the data within each manufacturer and adding up those data points squared. So we want to find the sum of our x's and the sum of our x's squared. For manufacturer one, if you just take all your data and add it up, what you're going to get is a total of 726. So I'm going to call this the sum of the x1 since it's for group one. If you take your data and square every observation first and then add them up for this group, you should get 176666. So I'll now add the rest of these for the other four manufacturers. Now that all those sums have been added, we also need to record our sample size for each group. So n1 is 3, n2 is 4, and then we have a 3 and a 5. And if you add those all together, that's your total n, which is here is equal to 15. The next thing we want to do is find our means and standard deviations for each group. The mean for group 1, we can take our sum of 726, divide by our sample size of 3, and we get 242. To find our variance for group 1, what we do is take our sum of our data squared, which is 176666, subtract our, 240, or our 726 squared, divided by our sample size of 3, and then divide by n minus 1, which is 2. And what we should get for this is 487. Now we need to do that for each of the groups, so I'll complete that step next. So all of the means for the different groups and all of the variances for the different groups have been added here. They are found in the same way as what we found for group 1. The next step is to find what we call our grand or overall mean, which would be if we averaged all of our data and ignored what groups we had. This can be obtained by looking at the individual means you found, where you take the sample size times the individual mean for each group. So for group 1, 3 times 242. Second group, 4 times 270.5. The next group, we have a sample size of 3 and a mean of 245.333. For the next group, we have a 5 and a 234.8. And then we divide by our total amount of data, which we said was 15. So what you'll get here is 3718 out of 15, and that gives a grand mean of 247.8667. So that would be if you averaged all the data at once. Now we have all the pieces that we're going to need to find our sums of squares. We'll start by finding our SSB, which requires us to take our sample size times the X bar for that group, minus the overall x bar, which is that 247 that we just calculated. So SSB will look like the following. So we have the expression for SSB written out. It's your sample size from your group times the mean from that group minus the overall mean squared. You do that for each group, so we have four different terms here and you add them all together. And what you'll find is that SSB for this problem is 3,000 25.27. The next thing we want to find is our SSW, and our SSW can be found by taking your sample size minus 1 times your variance for each group and adding them all together. So I'll now write out what that looks like. So what we have here is your sample size of 3 minus 1 times the variance for group 1, which was 487. Same for group 2, group 3, group 4, we add them all together. So we find our sums of squares within to be equal to 2762.47. So then the last thing to get is our sums of squares total, where we can just add our between and our within. So if you add 3025.27 and 2762.47, we get an SS total equal to 5787.74. In the next video, what we'll be able to do then is use these quantities to complete the test, the NOVA that we're looking at.